This is just the Minx, a Twitch streamer with over 2 million followers who has recently two gone million. down a very disturbing, tragic, and painful path, leading to her losing thousands of followers and subscribers every single day. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries. Juicy gossip, yep, yep, yep. looking to the sad and devastating story of just a Minx, who throughout this video, I'll be simply referring to as Minx. In the ever-evolving landscape of live streaming platforms, Twitch has emerged as a dominant force, attracting a plethora of talented creators. Among these creators, Minx, an Irish streamer, has carved out a niche for herself Irish. with a unique personality and diverse content. Minx started out on YouTube at a very young age, creating Club Penguin Horror Video. Wow, she was doing As good for herself passed, on YouTube. One of her short stories about a sad dog went viral, getting over 800,000 views. It would be at this very moment that Ming's got a taste for internet virality, and she couldn't get enough of it. I did go viral, like I don't want to flex too much, but I made a sad dog video um, where I wrote a sad story about a dog. It got 800, Minx, I don't, have, I don't know who this is. Never heard of her before. Views. That's a lot for a 12 year old. So I knew from then that 12? I was going to be an internet sensation. Jesus. Like many aspiring streamers, her initial audience was small, but she persisted in her efforts and worked hard to develop an enthralling online persona. She would receive a huge career boost after going on the Love or Host game show. Tommy, just Tommy, yeah. get ready for bed. Tommy needs to get ready for bed. He's got class in the morning. He's got to watch. He's got to clean no, his shoes I'm, as well. I don't know. My glasses are back on so I can watch the. Come on, Tommy. The let's, drama. Let's, let's get you tucked in. Come on. <laughs> what? The, no. Watch your Twitter. WV, <laughs> thank you. I like to. I like Appreciate to block that. you. Oh. <laughs> no. Tommy. Don't block your own. Tommy. Oh. Caprice, take your son along uh, uh, on his merry way. He needs on, to be. Tommy. I'm up just the stairs. Pick him up. Up the stairs, come on. Please. Oh. The audience took a liking to her, and many of them would go on to join her streams. Minx's dedication to her craft would eventually pay off as she began to gain traction in the Twitch community by February of 2019. One of Jesus the key factors of Minx's rise to prominence is her unique and entertaining personality, known for her outspoken nature, crude humor, and bold approach to content. Minx appeals to a wide range of viewers who appreciate her authentic <laughs> and unfiltered style. However, that aspect of her personality would become a double-edged sword. Certain poor choices in her life, coupled with an unstable mental state, would slowly eat away at her, and 2021 would be the start of a dark chapter in her life. In early 2021, she began having frequent emotional breakdowns on stream. Oh man. It's literally do. not even that. Some would perceive the situation as Minx playing things up for the camera, but coupled with the increased use of alcohol, things would only get worse. Minx started getting drunker and drunker on stream, sometimes even passing out while she was still alive. It's so sad. It's just, man, it's, it's. It's so sad. It's interesting watching these videos because you just learn like what content creation and being under the spotlight and stuff and just any kind of fame can do to people. But at the same time, it is so sad. Just these people just broadcasting themselves, just dying inside. It's, it's crazy, man. People don't really see like how much this crap does to you. But when you watch these videos, man, like you, you can, I don't know, you can feel it as a creator. I can feel it. Like, it makes me wonder, was she doing this for attention or was she really just like losing it? Because like, if I'm having a mental breakdown, like I'm going to end my stream, you know? Minx would find I'm just going to end. In a series of controversies within the Twitch community, one of which was for laughing at a victim of sexual harassment and completely... Oh boy, I think I heard about this. Incident. I think I did hear about this person. <laughs> she doesn't have a screenshot. This, this is bullshit. Right. right. Just You're laughing at a victim of SA? That's how you get, that's how you lose everything. That's literally how you lose everything. Slick is slick. I was here for this and the other girls that was there too. And I heard them out. This is bullshit. They went out and Slick literally was just himself. And they took it the wrong way. Slick is good. Slick is weird. Yeah, he is weird, but he does it online. Like he does, it's always how slick is. 
It doesn't justify it. Close friends and families it literally doesn't justify it. Professional help at a mental institution while making posts on Twitter explain the situation to the fans. But this didn't seem to work, as just a few days later, Minx would issue an apology on stream. But the damage was already done. Because there is an apology fucking old. Do I feel bad? Yeah. I have been advised to do a YouTube apology video talking about it or writing a script, which I probably should have done because knowing me, I will f up something here. I have done several things during my manic episode where it's not okay to ignore them. I'm not using my f***ing mental illness as an excuse because any oh mental illness God. comes with something oh. deep within you. <laughs> so anything I said was me. I'm personally disgusted at myself. Jumped like two f***ing stones ahead. But this is why women don't come out with this type of shit. Shortly after, Minx found herself in the spotlight once again. This time, after being to play people of in Madden, fellow streamer, toxic seems insane. Support, toxic I don't know what's going on. To recount her harrowing experience at a party hosted by Minx and her friends during the 2018 TwitchCon convention. According to Toxic, she and her friend participated in a drinking game where every mistake led to either downing a cup of vodka or a move. Do not go to fabletters.com. Do not take our historically low offer. Two for 24 shorts. You said ads. Moving an article of clothing, things took a turn for the worse when her friend became quickly intoxicated and Toxic ended up in her underwear surrounded by 13 men, actively pressuring her to undress further. Distressed, she got dressed, helped her friend, and they promptly left the party without any acknowledgement from the other attendees. Toxic would reach out to Minx the following day, who had mostly been absent from the party. Minx initially seemed supportive, even accompanying Toxic to a Twitch partner lounge to discuss the incident with friends. However, later that day, Minx Minx allegedly sent a text to Toxic banning her from future parties and threatening to divulge private information if Toxic went public with her story. Despite these allegations, Minx has remained tight-lipped, neither addressing nor commenting on the accusations on Twitch or her other social media channels. It is worth noting mm. that she was going through a home invasion incident at the time, so she may not have been able to actually address the situation if she wanted to. Home All invasion incident? Jesus Minx Christ! Would sour her relationship with her audience, but what came next would change your relationship with the entire streaming community. On the 25th of February 2023, Minx went live, and as usual, she had a bottle of alcohol in her hand. Oh, that as was a recent. Went on, a few months ago. Minx's drunken state would become all too apparent after dropping a bottle of liquor on the floor. Bro, she's losing it. She needs help. Homie is on the floor. It is heartbreaking. Yes, I'm fucking okay. Minx had been intoxicated on stream before, but this time Twitch had enough and banned Minx's account for seven days. This yeah, she should be banned on that. Minx's Needs help, man. Days. Jesus Christ. On the 11th of March 2023, the second edition of the annual Streamer Awards was being held. Naturally, Minx wanted to be in attendance to cheer on her friends and fellow streamers. But she wasn't invited. She'd already bought tickets, but approached her close friend QT, who was an organizer of the event, and asked if she would be allowed to share the ground floor with other streamers. QT Cinderella had known Minx for a long time and was aware of how badly alcohol affected her, as there are several incidences of Minx behaving recklessly at parties after she got drunk. Tie it up, tie it up. You can't! Oh. 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 Get next, I'm getting next. Okay. <laughs> she went on the strats and break and then Is that her and her? <laughs> okay, bro. What are you gonna do? Oh. Are you okay, bro? Homie just ruining the whole party, bro. Secondhand embarrassment. Everybody's like, bro. She also had difficulty staying sober when alcohol was present at parties. No, no, no. Minx, really, she's taking medicine that she really can't drink. She Look at soda. Three days. No, 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 trust me. No, you she's, can't. She's anti-meds. Can't. Can't 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 Isn't this a turn-off? This is such a... Melina, Melina, please, Melina. She actually can't. Yikes, man. Wow. I thought it was kind of wrong for saying that. Stop. Now. 
<laughs> There's a lot of streamers here. This is weird for many reasons. Blade of force feeding, not simping super hard. And her that's not simping, that's good. Beauty would grant Minx's request, but under the condition that she wouldn't have any alcohol throughout the event. Minx would agree to Cutie's terms, but that promise was quickly broken the after party, where Minx would almost immediately get drunk and start causing the scene. She would try to push people and large She just can't. She's one of those people where she just can't drink because she just loses it, you know? Some people just go nuts when they drink. Unfortunately. anyone else at the party, Minx's friend had called an ambulance since Minx had gone limp while she was escorted outside. Within minutes, police cars, a fire truck, and an ambulance arrived at the venue, and the after party was shut down almost immediately. Despite being given another chance, Minx had let down not just Cutie Cinderella, but every other streamer present. A few days later, Cutie Cinderella addressed the situation on a podcast with other streamers that attended the after party. But then, something that's very personal that I'm not trying to create any unnecessary drama here, but uh, Minx attended the after party and got kicked out and inevitably got the party shut down because it was in a residential neighborhood. And I want to unpack some things here. Um, I personally, and I don't want this to become a rag on Minx segment. It's not going to be that. I have personally done everything in my ability to help this woman. I have tried everything. She has been my friend for years up until uh, a point last year when it she had pa pushed me past my boundaries where I had to say, hey, like this is okay. It's really Other good. Streamers like XQC and C Dog. Glad you got out of that crap, man. Would give their own accounts of what happened. Running in. Um, because I was like, don't do this. This is a bad idea. <laughs> I was, it was, I was like talking to Saikuno. I was like, yeah, my lifeguard training's kicked in. I was talking to Saikuno like this. And then Migs comes up and I was like, oh, hi, hi. Because she was drunk. I was like, whatever, dude. I, dealing with drunk people is like easy. That's fine. Um, they said that she was trying to throw Saikuno. No, she wasn't, she wasn't trying to throw Saikuno in. She was, she was, she was trying to run in. But me and Sakuna were talking, and then she was like, you should go in, Sakuna. And then Sakuna was like, no, obviously. And then she tries to run in. People will, like, um, you know, be like, oh, like, stop drinking, but they're not, like, actually helping at all. Well, let me, bro, stop. It's just how it is. Okay? It's just, it's just, it's just my view on it. Okay? And then, and then, um, I was across, and then she, and, and then she kept drinking. Yeah? And then, um, after that, what happened is that, you know, she, she just drank too much. She just drank too much. That's it. And then some stuff was getting broken or something like that. And the party was kind of like getting crazy, I guess. So they, they, they had to like, like put it out front and then uh, they got people to help. And the, the, the house people were like, yo, bro, um, nah, we're done with this sh and This wouldn't stop Minx from sharing her side of the story on Twitter with a tweet. Exaggerate. Like, that was 100% water. the worst seizure I've had since I was 15. I still am struggling regaining memory from even yesterday. But QT would respond with, Oh, go f yourself. You were drunk before the after party. I almost had you thrown out of the show because you're yelling and making everyone uncomfortable. Completely. I've tried everything with you. Rehab everything. I hope this is your rock bottom get help and on the 13th of march minx would she's done with that mess to apologize <clears throat> and acknowledge that she does have an alcohol problem i yeah i shouldn't have drunk i shouldn't have drunk i'm not well, she's acknowledging lie. she has I an issue i hope she gets help people, someone that i thought was very attractive got nervous and started drinking at the awards uh when i was yelling i was just yelling to hide huey off i wasn't actually yelling at anyone else tobo and tobo's father was at the table nadia was at the table uh, the two men that won the award were at the table. Uh, it was the after party that I did. Uh, fuck off. But I also do want to just say that for people saying I didn't have a seizure, I definitely did have a seizure. I went to the hospital. I was at the hospital for a while. Are you still going to box? I'm definitely still going to box if they let me. It is just a shame on my behalf. Three days later, Minx would return to Ireland to seek professional help and be closer to her family. Minx continued to stream on Twitch and share wholesome moments with her family on social media. That's good. Things I hope it gets better. For her. She was home with her family, started streaming again, and was finally getting help with her alcohol problem. But unfortunately, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Rip. As on the 22nd of March, Minx would be involved in a heated argument with her sister live on stream. Enabling her in the chat. Enabling her! You are fucking coming to my room! As your life, you are fucking coming to your room! 
fighting with your siblings on stream. Oh, oh. The pedo allegations wouldn't go unnoticed as Keemstar and several other commenters. Oh boy, not Keemstar. You don't want Keemstar in none of your business. Things any further, she just brushed it off with this. If you catch yourself on a Keemstar video, you you in trouble. If you don't know who Keemstar is, that's a good thing. Don't look him up. Tweet. Americans are soft though, a statement that ruffled some feathers. But after a few replies, Ming stayed quiet and didn't feed into the drama. It didn't take long for the heat to die down and the internet moved on to something else. Today, Ming still keeps up with her regular upload schedule now that she's in Ireland and recently has made strides recovering from her alcoholism. You probably took a big hit. You're probably never going to be the same. Once you take that big hit, 9 out of 10 people is never the same. They lose those viewers and... It takes them a long time to build it back up, and when some of them, they kind of just plateau know, and they never build it back up. Borderline alcoholic. However, it is unclear how long she'll be receiving the treatment in Ireland, or if she'd even move back Good to Good luck to her, man. I hope she figures it out. That's, that was rough. Is that Minx is aware of the damage. It's rough to watch people broadcast, like, themselves fall apart, but it's good to see that it's, I guess, going towards a upper direction, <laughs> minus the fighting with sibling on stream part. I, I'd rather be fighting with my sibling than, than uh drunk and ruining everybody else's life.